Hello and welcome to another Lawson Estate Agents video viewing. We're here today to see a really lovely extended two bedroom end of terrace property in Rosehip Close in Woolwell. Um, so, you know, the usual information about Woolwell, close to local amenities, great primary school on hand, um, Tesco, Lidl, and then all obviously the kind of local amenities at the, the kind of community centre, doctor surgery, etc. So really, really sought after residential area. Rose Hip Close, as you can see, is a really, really nice little quiet cul-de-sac off Tramway Road. Um, really, really nice residential area, nice and quiet. Um, and the property that we're here to see today is this one. So the house itself is a two bedroom, but the current owners have extended to the rear to add in a really lovely dining space area. Now the property has allocated parking space, which is the space here to the far right. And they have got in place an electric charging point here as well. Um, and you can also see just past this vehicle here, um, we do have a side access gate to the garden as well. So, uh, so bins in and out and all of that kind of stuff is not problematic in the slightest. So there is other kind of on-road parking in the area as well, but the property does only come with one allocated. So you've got a little pathway and some steps up at the front and then front door in. It's nice appealing um, property from the outside. Coming on in, we've got a little bit of a kind of storage cupboard to that side as you first come into the property. And then we are into lounge here. So it's a nice size lounge. Um, the room itself actually sort of tucks in under the stairs slightly there, um, which just sort of extends the space that you have. Um, and then as you kind of pan to the front, you've got the window to the front, but then this little sort of partition wall, um, which has got a little sort of alcove cut through. It's quite nice because it gives the feel of a porch as you come on into the property, but you're not losing room space, you're not losing flow of light. Um, but as I say, it, it just sort of gives that feeling of a little bit of a porch area as you first come in. Decor throughout is to a really high standard, um, all nice and neutral. Um, the kitchen and rear extension were done about three years ago. Um, and bathroom upstairs was modernised about five years ago. So coming on through to kitchen and dining space. So coming on through to the rear of the property, this is where we've had um, modernisation and extension done. Kitchen here to the right, um, so a really nice U-shaped kitchen. Uh, it's a great layout for a kitchen, this, because it puts everything within really easy reach. Um, from your hob to your sink to your, your sort of fridge freezer etc you're not constantly crossing and to and fro and across your kitchen space gives you plenty of worktop space as you can see loads of units really nice neutral modern kitchen boiler is up in the corner in there so it's a combi does your heating and hot water on demand and um, we've got a kind of larder cupboard to this side space for a washing machine space for a tumble dryer potentially or as we've got here an extra christmas freezer um but also space for a freestanding fridge freezer also um now where they've sort of extended this would have been a kitchen diner to this side um so you've got a nice spacious walk through area here but then you come through to this really lovely extension at the back um, so you've got your patio doors and big window opening onto the garden um, and there is a, uh, a kind of roof light above as well. Um, but as you can see, the cat doesn't come with the property though. Hello. Um, a really, really nice space. You've got this really lovely feature fire in here as well. So it keeps the space nice and um, pleasant, nice and warm. And it's very attractive little feature in there. I say little feature, quite a big feature, but very, very nice. Um, and then we've got patio doors out to the garden um, with my little friend here. Hello, good boy. So coming out into the garden, um, it is a really nice sized garden out here. Nice and low maintenance, all fenced all the way around. Um, and obviously down around that corner there, you've got the side access gate. Really good sized storage shed in there area laid to patio and then all the rest of it is laid to decking um, and then it goes around the corner there you've got um, sort of 
power and uh, and water. Now, what the current owners were telling me about this little area to the side here is when they installed the decking, they installed additional supports underneath because their thoughts at the time were they were going to locate a hot tub down here. So if that was something somebody was looking at, that area of decking has already been previously reinforced to accommodate a hot tub in that spot, which is quite handy. Now, the other thing to say about the extension to this side is that when the extension was built, the foundations were put in um, with additional depth so that if somebody wanted to extend above and add in a second story, um, obviously with you know, the relevant planning um, applications, etc., having been passed. The foundations that this extension are on are sufficient to accommodate that. So that's always worth knowing. Obviously, at the moment, we're extended on the ground floor. We are still only two bedrooms above. But if you were looking for something to extend, something to add a little bit of space, add a little bit of value, the foundations are in place to enable that to happen, which is great. Now, this garden is southwest facing, so as you can see, oh, yeah, a bit bright. Um, the sun comes up to that side, and you do pretty much get the sun throughout the day, and it kind of sets obviously over in that direction there. So, you know, throughout the, the middle of the day, lunchtime, and into the afternoon, this whole area is going to be flooded with sunlight, which is nice. So, coming back on indoors back to my little pal who is just lovely <laughs> hello um we then come on back through to lounge and then we'll take ourselves upstairs as well so coming back through the lounge at the front of the property we then head on upstairs so as i say when the current owners bought the property they did some modernization as well as extensions so as you come to the top of the stairs Doorway to the right is bathroom. Now this bathroom was renovated and redone about five years ago. So we've got corner bath, WC basin, little handheld shower there on the corner bath. What they also did is put in a shower unit in there, took some of the space that was previously occupied with storage and put in a freestanding shower unit as well. So uh, bath, shower as well etc all in here we then come on round to the first of the two bedrooms currently used as a single perfectly big enough for a double and um, it kind of comes this way behind the door as well um, really really good size second bedroom so easily uh, a, a nice size double in here um, and then coming back through we then come to main bedroom at the front so a nice size double, um, but what you've also got is built-in wardrobes and storage down to that side. And again, built-in wardrobes and storage that lead over the top of the stairwell as well, giving really good storage space in here. Um, so this is our video viewing of uh, number five, Rose Hip Close. Stunning extended two bedroom property in Woolwell, um, ripe for additional extension if necessary. If you'd like to take a look, if you'd like to book a viewing, please give our office a quick call on Plymouth 791 333. Thanks, bye.